Hello, and welcome to a Centipede Press unboxing. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say double unboxing, but it's not really a double unboxing. It's just one box that happens to have two books in it. Uh, if you're a fan of the Centipede Press newsletter, then you probably can identify these books off the bat or from the title of the video as the two John Franklin Barden novels. Two newest releases. And, oh. Did I buy something else? Did I buy this? Oh, I did buy this. I did. I forgot. I also bought a little scratch and dent item as well. Uh, the scratch and dent item was because it was just really cheap. It's Prison Memoirs of an Anarchist by Alexander Berkman. Couldn't really tell you anything about it, but, you know, I think I bought it for like two bucks, and I was like, you know what? I'm in. I'm in. Uh, but anyways, we'll put that to the side. Boop. We have... Two uh, John Franklin Barden novels uh, right here, adorned without the text on the cover. We have Devil Take the Blue Tail Fly and The Last of Philip Banter. Uh, I had asked that he match my number of uh, I'll See You in Hell, uh, which he did, 68, fantastic, very nice. Uh, no top edge stain on these ones, but that's fine. They are going to be gorgeous additions even without the top edge stain that uh, Jared has been putting on these beautiful editions. Now, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I've never actually read any of uh, Barden's novels before. I know that uh, the Deadly Percheron... Percheron? Yeah, the horse. Yeah, the Deadly Percheron uh, was published by Centipede, or Millipede, technically, many years back. And I know copies are still relatively affordable, but... I don't own that one, so I'm going to stick to these two, or perhaps a nice, nice copy of that if I can find one available for cheap. Oh my god, come on, buddy. Uh, so anyways, I don't know much about these other than it has Jared's seal of approval, which, holy hell, he has not led me wrong on any of his crime novels before. Uh, so I know we have Devil Take the Blue Tail Fly uh, featuring... Ellen on the cover is about Ellen returning to the United States. She had some sort of breakdown that prevented her from becoming a world-famous harpsichordist. Harpsichordist? I, yeah, I guess. There's her hand on the back cover there. Uh, she's probably getting haunted of sorts by this guy in the back who strangely looks like a combination when I look from afar from Abed from uh, Community and also the British comedian David Mitchell. Not sure why I'm seeing that, but that's what I see. Uh... This one, I believe, is introduced by, uh, I'm guessing John Franklin's son, I believe it was. It was another uh, Barden, Frank Barden, I want to say. Yeah, Frank C. Barden. There's a picture of John Franklin right there. Beautiful cloth binding, to be expected, with centipede press titles. Very flat kind of spine, uh, which I am totally cool with. Uh, so this is signed by Frank, uh, right there, as well as, as well as Dan Rempel, who is the one who did the uh, cover art and a facsimile of John Franklin Barden, right there. You know, what you can expect with a beautiful crime novel. Psychological crime novel, he says. And then we also have <clears throat> The Last of Philip Banter, uh, which is about uh, Benedict Cumberbatch here. Uh, finding a confession, which he reads aloud, and it turns out it's a confession of his own infidelity. And madness ensues, I presume. The last of Philip Banter, which is a great name. Banter is you know, a great name for someone who's reading this 30-page confession that just showed up. Although, I have, I have the question, at what point... In the 30-page confession, do you stop reading it aloud, saying, holy crap, I probably shouldn't continue reading this? Oh, the cover's kind of loose on this. It's like, loosey-goosey. That's fine, though. It's not falling apart. Uh, this was introduced by Ramsey Campbell. Uh, Dan Rampo, once again, did the cover illustrations. Another John Franklin Barden uh, facsimile. But very nice novels, very nice additions, I should say. Uh, hopefully I can find myself a nice cheap copy of the Deadly Percheron uh, to go along with them. It won't have the same art style, but, you know, pretty cool nonetheless. 
And, of course, Prison Memoirs of an Anarchist, uh, which, you know, it was a buck, or however many bucks it was. I'm all in. Uh, I'm always checking out his, uh, his Scratch and Dent page. He had some fun items in there as well. I know he still, he currently has some slip cases on there. Uh, for $20, you can get a slip case to uh, Houses Under the Sea, the Caitlin Kiernan collection, which I own. It's a beautiful collection. Great slip case. Uh, my copy was purchased used, so I kind of I'm kind of tempted to buy a new slip case, but then again, the book itself also looks used. So putting, you know, a beat up book in a nice slip case it can only go so far. Uh, but more importantly, he does have copies of Kafka on the Shore. The slip case for that by Haruki Murakami. I love Murakami. Holy hell. There's one of the Murakami, side note, random tangent, Murakami is one of those uh, uh, authors, artists, I can't speak English, one of those authors who I just keep requesting on the Suntup, uh, uh, the Suntup newsletters, little uh, feedback that he asks for, and uh, I know that Jared is going to be doing another Murakami, which, oh my god, I'm so excited about, I missed the chance of getting the signed copy of Kafka on the Shore, which really is a bummer, uh, but I got an unsigned copy, and that capped slipcase is freaking gorgeous. Like, seriously, for 20 bucks, you can't go wrong. I don't need a copy. I already have a copy of the capped slipcase. I'm really tempted to just get a copy to store stuff in it, like magazines or something. Uh, I could probably use, I mean, I, I'll know if they fit, because I have a copy in the other room. So I could go look at that copy and say, hey, what can fit in here? Really liking the, the hand aesthetic on the back cover here. Unfortunately, the anarchist does not have a hand on the back. It just has a blurb and a bio. Dude died in 1936, so old, old writings there. Anyways. Um, yeah, anyways, this is gorgeous. I, I got distracted here because it's, you know, the, the, <laughs> the book is uh, Prison Memoirs of an Anarchist. And they describe uh, Alexander Berkman as an anarchist. And I'm like, oh, really? I wouldn't have guessed that. Also the lover of Emma Goldman. Uh, so, way to go, Emma Goldman. Anyways, this was our John Franklin Barden uh, unboxing from Centipede Press. we got some other great titles coming down the way. These are still both available on their website. Uh, it's sold as a set. Uh, they are not on sale any further. Oh, I can kind of mix and match. Look at her hand now. Uh, there, you can let's mix and match that way, too. That doesn't really work that way. Oh, well. Uh, they're on sale. It's like 50 bucks a pop, but it's sold as a set, so it's 100 bucks. But it's a hell of a good price, especially when you consider that they're signed and that the prices are only going to go up on the secondary market because it's Centipede Press. Well, anyways, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.